a doppelganger. <laughs> that, exactly. It's, it's Tonto it's a, Jr. <laughs> I don't know. We should little, call you Little Junior. Tonto. Should we call it's, me Little Tonto? Uh, I am the Little Tonto. You are the freaking <laughs> monstrous. Have, have you not uh, seen yourself in the freaking I, I, on, I on, on, on the new? I apologize <laughs> for that. On, on yeah. Halo, oh, my gosh, dude. Halo, I'm like, dude, what is I, – remember, I remember the first time – they told me that yeah. hey, Pablo's going to play uh, in the and I was ecstatic because I I knew Pablo from the Wire, I knew him from Orange is the New Black and so that was bad. Dude, you were so demented in that. <laughs> but I remember that was how I pictured you, this right. frumpy guy, oh, no right. calves, Mustache nothing man. going. On. Like yeah. oh my gosh, there's no way. But how are we going to put him in the short I, shorts? <laughs> Well, dude, I, dude, that's what I'm saying. How are we like, going to put him in my running shorts? Yeah, that's what Chris is <laughs> you, better be, you better be doing some push-ups. And then I saw him. And then the first time I saw him, it was in New Jersey. Uh-huh. I came, yeah, yeah, came. Yeah. I was in New Jersey, came, we went to the yeah. gym. Somebody stole my wallet, but it was okay. It was still fun hanging out with you. you that. that wasn't you, no? And dude, I was like, holy shit. This, this dude, people are going to think I'm a freaking monster. So now they're all disappointed every time they meet me. <laughs> they want, they're thinking I'm like 6'3". Yeah, like, nah, you hey. were, you're bigger in the movies. <laughs> I just want to exactly you get that? how many times I've got that. You look, Jesus, you sure look bigger in the movies. Well, if Sorry nothing else, I'm glad you. I got to come on the show today to apologize for the the years of torture you've gotten at my expense. They, I, now, by, you know that in, in the movie still wouldn't be relevant if it wasn't for you you out there. You know, you and kudos to John Krasinski as well. He's out there still. That's why the movie still stays. Actually, I'm sure people wanted to bury it at, at certain times, but it, it was so well done. And you guys still are doing amazing things that it's like, well, I guess that, that's Hollywood. I, if that's how it works. You know, people, actors are still want to show good projects that they've done before. And that makes 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 the new projects more marketable. And, am I yeah. am I sounding smart there for a second? Oh, that didn't even that's not that came out of my ideas mouth. together. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> I, obviously, <laughs> obviously, dude, you're uh the movie was what it was because it was based on your real experiences, as you know, and that's why it was touching and that's why people responded to it. And that's why people continue to respond to it. So anything that we uh, yeah. did to add to bringing awareness to it and um, bringing your story to life, because at the end of the day, that's what we are. We're storytellers. So anything that we yeah. did that contributed to, to bring, to bring that to screen, we're, you know, proud to have that association and, and Boy, you, I'm just fucking you happy did. to see you, you, to be honest. Dude, you did. Every time I watch I, I love, I mean, seriously, I love you. I, I really do. I, I do. Because every time, like, man, Paul just put his heart and soul in it. It makes, every time I watch it, I still freaking, so stop making me cry. And I still watch it at least once or twice a year. It'll pop up on Pluto. We don't, out here in the sticks, we don't have cable. So we got internet TV. So I got yeah. Pluto and it's always on or Paramount Plus. And, yeah. and uh, man, it's like, man, Paul is just, they just, and you know, Michael Bay did a good job, but it's like, man, and it remind it always reminds me. So thank you. So let's get that out of the way. You thank gotta, you for doing such a wonderful job and in, in portraying my dumbass. No, dude, thank you. Um, the 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 real game here for viewers is going to be to guess where Tonto cries in thirteen hours, right? <laughs> The, I think you've said. I think the, you've actually said it on the, the show. The obvious one is the Jumbo scene. You know, that's <laughs> that's the obvious one where people would think that Tonto would cry. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess something a little more out there, and I'm gonna guess this when Tonto has to break up with them all. That's that's where he really yeah, cries. I, that, you know? That's I'm that's have to where break I'm up cr- with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and people realize you. I talked to a. Uh, it dancing. was a demon. Maybe you ad libbed that because that wasn't in the script. Yeah, no, Didn't you ad lib that, dude? Most of your shit is ad libbed. You're welcome. oh, <laughs> <laughs> most of your best lines are mine. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, so Chris, I think you said it. I think again. The truth comes out, man. I Pablo basically. Just made everything his own, and Tano is a boring bag of shit. No, <laughs> that's no, what no, no. Right no, that's not the point. The point, the point is, is that you, amongst that crew, amongst that group of guys, you were yeah. the cut up. You know, you were the guy that yeah. you know, the the big mouth, uh, but to, the to, funny <laughs> guy. Right. To answer that question, Chris, because I think you did say it on the show before. Where is the part <laughs> that you usually do you cry at? At the, at, at the end, at the, at the, where the, where, where Jumbo, the Jumbo, yeah. the Jumbo scene. Yeah. So that was the one you said because the it was big crane shot. It was, yeah, that's yeah. obvious. It was because it, it was breaking up with the mall. <laughs> oh, the mall was fun. I laugh at that too. Cause it really, well, I did love, I, it, it reminded me of when, it reminded me of when yeah. they brought the, brought the drinks up and I was just, just trying to chill out at it. But that scene, because it was, it was like a, oh, it was like, holy yeah. shit. 
wow. It, like I let it all go for a second. Yeah. And then I had to get it back together. It's like, okay, well, we're still here. I mean, yeah, this yeah. movie doesn't go into that, but after it's like, okay, right. get your shit together. We still got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, right. But yeah, dude, uh, that was, that was amazing. Uh, no, man. And, uh, yeah, just knowing Pablo and getting to meet him and hang out, I, I can just tell the personalities. Yeah, the sizes obviously physically are different. He's a monster. I'm little monster. I'm a little guy still, mm-hmm. a little older. But he he had that in him. I, I'm pretty, you play a stoic character, and a lot of times you do play stoic characters or mean motherfuckers mm-hmm. in movies. Mm-hmm. But you're a funny dude, dude. <laughs> you're you're hilarious. You are a cut up. Well, that's you know. Uh, I was really happy to get to flex that muscle, you know, and, and do that in this, in this project. And it's a credit to Bay too. Like what, what I was getting into yeah. there is saying that that's, you know, that's, that was your role amongst those group of guys, you know? So, so, and it was obvious when we met you that, 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 you know, you're, you're a guy who likes to make people laugh. You're a guy who likes to, to, and, and, and one of the things also that, that I noticed, and I think uh, Bay was interested in is the idea of, um, you guys and people in military situations in general using humor yeah. to yeah. relieve stress, you know, to break up tension, right? And I think it's one of the things that he did really well in that movie is establish tension, right? With with uh, the the sort of the quiet scenes, waiting on the roof, what's going to yeah. happen? The threat is right out there, but you can't see it, and you're just waiting for it to come, and then defusing that tension with humor and i got lucky in the sense that you know chris was that in that group of guys so that's what i was asked to do um and when i said the thing about you know most most of your lines were were ones that i made up i i I say that in this not to not to brag that i made the lineup but to say that to to base credit actually is like that's what he was looking for you know what i mean he wanted me to have the freedom to be able to find the moment and and use humor to yeah. defuse tense situations, right? And uh, and to his credit, it there was a lot of there was a lot of room for that. You know, a lot of the a lot yeah. of the stuff in the movie was stuff that I was just reacting to in the moment, right? Like the guy who when we get to the gate and there's the guy who can barely speak English, right? That was literally just an actor who could not speak English. <laughs> And I was like looking at this guy, like who, you fucking hired somebody who doesn't even speak the language to do a scene with me. And so the look on my face when I'm just like, what the fuck did you just say? Like, that's, that's all happening in the moment, you know? And that wasn't a line like in the movie. I was just like, what the fuck did you just say? And right? th- that's what worked out perfectly. And it makes movie, exactly, it's one of the biggest laughs of the how, movie. Right. Well, and that's, but that's exactly what happened. That's exactly right. It's like, that's why I got, cause yeah. that's how I was in real time going. So, are you fucking kid? Are you who are you calling? Are you shitting me? I'm in my head. I might put a bullet in this guy's head. Yeah, for real. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Are you calling who? You. That's why it just worked. Yeah. So when people ask me how the movie, I was like, yeah. dude, Pablo just 100 percent because everything was spot on, even the stuff that may not have been the script because it was exactly how I felt and I and what I was thinking and and that's a, the magic and how I say I always speak highly of you. I speak highly because you get it, you understand it, and it just takes you a second. And because you are an intelligent person, and I'm not trying to suck you off, bro, you are. You're an extremely smart person, but you understand that. And you'll see that in just meeting me for a couple hours and be like, okay, I got it. And you and you were able to run with it and get those those feelings down. Yeah. A lot of actors, they can get the lines, right. but they can't get that emotion. The feeling, and you, you, you did. You, well, you got and, it. It and they awesome. put us in the situations that that created and all of those responses. You know what I mean? Like hiring this guy. It, was, it, it, it wasn't. I'm sure it wasn't like an intention for Bay to hire somebody who was just terrible at English, right? <laughs> but he put me in a situation where I'm talking to someone that I can't even fucking understand, right? And and that elicited the same response that Chris was having in dealing with that real life situation. Yeah, right? that's and then, perfect. And dealing with those guys that we pulled up, like the guys off the street. You know, like come on yeah, with us. Yeah. And and those those were extras from the movie set, right? Like guys who they had no training. They didn't go through our like in military training with the SEALs. They didn't go through any of that yeah. shit. They're just guys they pulled off from the extras of the movie set. And oh, these guys kept flagging me and pointing their guns in my face. So those so there's a couple times where I'm just like, stop pointing that fucking shit in my face, that's, right? That's, and that's and it was just because of the situations that they put us in and responding realistically to the situations that they put us in. So you I, actually, see, I you know what I, I wanted to ask that. you yeah. is, since we're talking about kind of the specifics of the film and by the way we'll get into what you're up to now kind of your backstory i'd love to hear all of that but 
you know, watching that documentary that Jim Carrey did about how he became Andy Kaufman mm-hmm. or, you know, the recent Elvis yeah, movie. How, how do you become someone else? I mean, do you have to live as Chris Peranto for a certain amount of time to be like, this is how I'm going to portray this in this movie perfectly? No, I mean, you know, I, it, in a situation like this where you're playing a real person, you have, um, from my perspective anyway, you have a responsibility to getting the story across in a way that feels uh, realistic. But it wasn't like we were trying to, obviously I'm, you know, two feet taller than him. Uh, you know, my biceps are like way bigger and all that stuff. So. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but it's, uh, so, so we're not, it's not mimicry. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, no, nobody's being asked to realistically believe that I'm him. What, uh, what, what I'm being asked to do is, is bring, the the feeling of him right like sure. what 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 is it that was unique about him in that experience so we have the we have responsibility to the actual events that happen and telling that story realistically and truthfully and we have a responsibility to getting the essence of the person i would say right yeah. and and you know for me what was obvious about chris almost immediately is is his desire to have fun with people you know his desire to to poke fun at people the ribbing is like and that's why you see like i come in here and immediately i'm like (laughs) busting his chops right because that's who he is right that's our relationship because i i that's not who i am that's who he is so i'm i'm (laughs) you know our relationship is that because that was what we established in getting to know each other but it seems like you've taken some of that for yourself maybe just how all these experience we have shapes us into the person we are today of course i mean as a, as an actor the reason i'm an actor is because i i love i i want to have the opportunity to live the most amount of life experience in the shortest amount of time that i can right so it's the only job I could ever have where I get to be somebody different every few months. I get to learn. I mean, look at all the things I've done, right? Like I, the amount of training, military training that I've had for somebody who's never served, never enlisted. Like I've, I've learned so much about weapons, about all this stuff that I would never have had the opportunity to do in any other thing other than joining the service and serving for a bunch of years. Right. And I got to do it in a, a really tight condensed period of time other things like I've learned to fly a plane for a project when I played a pilot I've you know it's it's just the amount of life skills that you get and you don't become an expert at those things like I would never want to be thrown into a real battle like these guys were right I like forget that shit I don't want that I don't want anybody shooting at me but I can realistically (laughs) play that because of of the skills that I was given and so it's it's like you get you get um you get a taste sure, of sure. a huge amount of life experience 